Get out of this war. That is so many admin points that we don't have. Ugh, do it. Actually, you know what? I can feed this to Seuss. Well, no, I'm not going to do that. Who am I kidding? It's part of Macronesia. Do we already have Macron Macronesia as a state? Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Um, I, I got to get rid of these guys. Because minus one to legitimacy. Oh, I I don't actually know. Uh, I'm sorry. I I thought you were talking about a thing, uh, so discontent, or so unrest. Yeah, never mind. I was mixing it up. No, uh, yeah. Sorry about that. I don't actually know how to deal with that one. In that case, like, having royal marriages helps, all right? So if you have, like, if you have late, mid-game to late-game, you should have five or more relationship slots. And if you do, you should make sure that you have... A marriage with anyone that you can out of that group uh, that'll that'll help a lot that's one thing um, having more prestige helps so if you have your prestige high which you can get through battles and war as well as other stuff uh, then that will help um, there's other stuff too but yeah I mean that's the basic stuff I would say I want to get rid of those guys we lost a lot of manpower at the end of that war um, yeah a lot of manpower. Okay, uh, what we do first? Do that, then that, then we do this, 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 this. Uh, we can do everything except one. Nice. Power projection uh, does help. Yep, as you can see there. I forgot about that, but it does. Yep. Um, those are the things that affect it: royal marriages, power projection, prestige. So if you get those, that you should be able to combat that enough. You know. Portugal, we distract you, man. I don't like that. <laughs> we got a... No, no. Okay, whatever. The AI is is annoying. Yes, you're not wrong. I just want to get the rela the marriage with Aragon. Oh, it's got to be coming up soon. Hold on. Yeah, we'll hope. One can hope. We only have Cornish Separatists looking to fire soon. So hold on. Let's go up here. Okay. This is good. The fact that we're able to just destroy Portugal so early on is really, really, really useful. Um, we should not have any issues keeping them out of the colonial game completely. That deals with one of our rivals. Now we got to start worrying about England. That is going to be our next big one, honestly. Um, start getting to wars with England. And if we do that, we should be pretty Gucci. Uh, I'm going to do. I'm going to take this one off and do own subject countries. We are losing money. Why? Probably from corruption. Yep, that's a big chunk of it. Forts. Um, we should actually maybe delete one of our forts. Like Toledo. I, I no, not when Aragon could declare on us. We should just mothwall our forts. There we go. I'm gonna bring you back down. You know. Okay. That was really good. This is a really good start to a campaign. Probably one of the better starts I've had in recent memory. I mean, we're starting as Castile, you know? It's not like a, I can't be like, oh, I'm so good. No, this is a good country. <laughs> it's a powerful country to start with. Um, one of the top 15, for, su for sure. Um, you know, I can't complain, but I also can't brag. <laughs> I think I'm going to go ahead and annex... Annex Navarra, even though we could feed them more and then wait. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to annex them now to make slots open for other people. And also to... Well, yeah, I think... Because um, I might want to make whales a vassal soon, you know? I'm looking into... I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I'm really liking the idea of having England be conquered by, like, 1600. Have England be conquered super early on. That should be super nice. Have... <laughs> have England and Castile on either side of France and squeeze in France. That's going to make it a lot easier, I think, if we have... 
Uh, and it's just a lot of money and manpower base up in England as well. We're definitely make that a promoted culture, and that'll be really fun. But it's kind of interesting. Every other time I've played in in this part of the world as Aragon or as Navarro or whatever, I've never actually done this. Had England try to be conquering England so early on, I really like the idea of doing it. Um, have them early on be the... It's almost as if we like inherited their throne or something early on, you know? <laughs> it's still more medieval than it is early modern this time period, so and I like it. It's, a, it's some sort of ahistorical in a cool way to me. We should actually build, build spy networks there. Yeah, we're just going to go along the coast there. Look at that. Nice. Uh, da, 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 do that. Last one. Madeira. Okay. The War of Las Alpujarras. Alpujarras. Ras. Ah. What? Oh. That is really annoying. So apparently by... You know, I think I remember like learning about this in one of my Spanish history courses, um, like a, re a revolt, a rebellion in Granada after a while. Hold on. So, good thing is we can just do this. Losing stability, ew, that's probably the biggest kicker there. Well, the religion change as well, but this is brutal. Um, okay, hold on. Seven in Almeria, seven in Gibraltar. That's our siege or uh, combat general. That's correct. Okay, let's hope that we can make it over there. It'll be firing like next month, this month. Oh, these events, man! I'm losing. I'm doing the money there. I'm just waiting until this fires on its own. Yep. They instantly got in the fort? What the heck? That's not cool. One, two, three. Same day. Okay, that's unfortunate. It's really annoying, but you know what? Not too much I can do about it. Start converting it back. Boom. This is painful. This is going to cost us heavily, dearly in manpower. We might even lose this battle. No, we're going to win. Still, it's costing us literally all of our manpower. I think I'm going to do this. <laughs> I like that option, and we're gonna need manpower, so I might actually do it again. I don't mind losing professionalism. Okay, yeah, we won. We won that battle. Painful as it was, ugh, that was real painful. Our heir is of age, isn't he? Yep, look at that. Heir just came of age. So, if their ruler would die, and they would hopefully get a female heir, then we could get this thing going. I am going to go ahead and uh, annex Navara as soon as possible. You still haven't covered your country. Hmm. It's not good. Definitely not going to do acquire subjects for this these vassals. I'm going to wait till Seuss is more, and then I'll do it. I'm going to wait till maybe Naples, or, you know, that's going to be a long time. Probably not going to wait that long. Um, but I'm going to wait till we get at least uh, Wales fed a bunch of stuff and then annex them. This is going to be one we wait on for a while. Expand Castile is a really good one. Gaining production in Toledo. Well, isn't there a decision to move the capital to Madrid? I mean, it doesn't really add, doesn't really matter that much, does it? Toledo might actually be a better one to have more development in than Madrid. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Expand Castile, I think that's fine. Toledo area gets uh, stuff, yeah, that's fine. I'm, I'm just gonna do that now. I like that event. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. We are so far behind in admin power. We could be exploring already, but we are not. That's okay. You're cheaper, so I should promote you. Yeah, that worked. <laughs> not that our money's in a great spot. Maybe we shouldn't have done that, but <clears throat> you know, it's okay. Still losing money. All right, it's just reinforcements now. <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie though, our money's not in a great spot. Um, what do we have our other mission from? Oh, Spanish Traditions, oh my god, I completely forgot we had that. Yeah, I should've been doing that already. All right, go up to speed four. Still haven't got our core all the way done on Cornwall. About to have it though. The fact that it's Welsh culture should mean that the core goes away after a while too. Sooner. Not that that's going to be a big deal. So. Um, okay, Cornwall is now a promoted culture. Or not a culture, a core. And now we just started getting claims on a bunch of uh, English provinces. Cool. Uh, Navarra, Annex. Should be pretty quick. Yeah, 56 total. <laughs> I'm going to do it now rather than wait around. I, I think it's better this way. Hmm. And then we'll build a mountain fort there. <laughs> I'm not joking. Uh, da, 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 da. Algarve will be finishing soon. Look at that. Alentejo. Um, yep. Already 26.7% done. Nice. And we'll inherit their treasury too. Which is always nice. Losing much less money now. Good. Still haven't caught in that. Jeez. After this, we can kind of just sit still for a little bit, you know? Just relax for a bit. France, why are you doing that? Why are you paying their foreign debts? Hold on, we can marry... I could have married them, but I didn't. Darn. Ah, That's fine. After this, we should have our power kind of shift in our favor again. Um, we can take this. Do I want to, though? I kind of don't want to. Man, we might actually finish annexing Navarre before we finish the siege. This is ridiculous. How many coin flips can you miss? Can you not get? I like this event. Tolerance of Heretics is not something we have to worry about. Stability cost, mystery strength, tolerance of the true faith. This actually means that it basically... Yeah, we gotta do that event. Really? Again? You've gotta be kidding me. This is ridiculous. This is actually ridiculous. There we go. There we go. Finally. Uh, da 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 da. Definitely. We can almost uh, get our golden age to start, which I will do probably as soon as I can. Oh, hey, I didn't pause. I definitely was paused, but you know, that's okay. A large city, control centers of trade. Okay. Well, we annexed Navarra. I mean, that's good. Certainly good. Okay. Fate of the Kingdom of Granada. Okay, this is... <laughs> so now we can do this. Lose stability. Culture becomes Castilian. Okay, so this is the event that allows you to do that. I don't want to do that though. I actually want. I don't like. I don't mind stuff becoming Castilian. I don't care about that really. Um, I actually kind of like the idea of having Andalusian as well. And it doesn't matter. We're gonna get a cultural union eventually, anyways. It's already in our group. Hmm. <clears throat> the real big thing is that it changes their religion automatically. But we are gonna be able to convert it anyways. Losing stability is not worth getting three cores of theirs gone. It's it's not worth it. Their cores will eventually go away anyways. I'm pretty sure. So. Well, no, they won't, I guess, because it is the cultural union, or the, whatever, you know what I'm talking about. It is the primary culture. Well, whatever. I don't care. I'm going to get stability back. <laughs> I think that's much better. Uh, I'll do that. Is it time to get more power? It is. Look at that. Do that. 
Oh, no, it's not. Is it? No, darn it, it's not that time. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Oh, it is. What? Uh, I'm confused. Whatever. Did I already do it? No. That one's a couple years later, apparently. Okay, whatever. It's gonna be a while until we get the Renaissance. How long, actually? A little bit longer. Hmm. I should go in and just take the second now, let's be honest. Yeah. Oh, man. I wish... You know what? <laughs> it's tempting to just abdicate now. Our ruler is so bad... But he's 61. I'm just going to let him live out the rest of his time. And he has a conversion bonus, which we might actually need a little bit. So, um, I was a little worried when I saw this was all green. I was like, what? <laughs> no, we're good. Okay. Cool. Mm hmm. So I think for a little bit, we're just going to chill out. <laughs> because we need to just... We don't have... Uh, well, for one, we actually probably have a lot of... Yeah, I was going to say, we probably have a lot of aggressive expansion anyways. I think we just need to chill out and, um, and start working on getting ideas knocked out. Exploration stuff. And, uh, and yeah, that'll, that'll definitely be what we need to do. Assess... <clears throat> Especially since we have so much aggressive expansion with frickin' everyone. Um, I don't like that. I don't like that either, though. Oh, that event sucks. Yeah, none of our estates are really happy with us. Not gonna worry about that right now. Darn, okay, that's unfortunate. We did have a, um, a chance there. The ruler has died, but apparently not. So, I mean, the thing is, eventually it's likely to happen. When our ruler, we don't have another thing, huh? Um, Morocco, if we can, definitely. Um, let's do that. Now I'll start saving up for other, other uses of that, I think. Hmm, Sunni Zealots, where? Granada, okay, well, that's fine. Should not fire, hopefully. We actually have more debt, I forgot about that. There we go. Um, let's uh, see. I wonder if long term... So I know that the, the first idea group I want to take is uh, is going to be... Exploration, then expansion, right? Those two are the most important. Um, however, ooh, you know, we might have a coalition form here. No, Morocco would be the only one that joins. Maybe Aragon, but um, I'm wondering. I I'm thinking about this now. I'm, I'm like, what ideas do we take? We take quantity, probably, because it it, there is a policy I think that gives colonial bonuses. Isn't that correct? Uh, da, 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 da. Exploration, national manpower, that's pretty good. But expansion is what I'm looking for, expansion. Land force limit, modifier, global settler increase. That's a really good one. So we'll do quantity, exploration, expansion. Those are gonna be our first ones. Then like influence would be the next Diplo. And what I'm wondering is, what would be the next best admin one? Do we wanna do religious? to convert things and get the CB, right? Um, it would help out with uh, conquering a lot of different areas, like the Sunni areas, Protestant areas, and everything. And it would help with converting stuff, um, but we'd have to have it be states, you know? Or, alternatively, do we want to go humanist? And I'm kind of leaning towards humanist because there's just going to be so many different religions we have if we are going full colonial, because we're going to be in India, we're going to be in Indonesia, we're going to be in China, possibly Japan, Africa... South America, you know, as well as Europe. I kind of feel like this with the variety, absolute variety of stuff, it might just be better to do humanist and the distance between them. Do humanist and uh, 
And yeah, I, I kind of like that, yeah. We'll see. We have plenty of time to decide. Um, uh, I really... I should probably just take this now. I'm going to do this. It might not be the best idea, but he's still going to be cheaper, you know? And he is... Uh, He's a plus three now. We need stuff anyways. I, I'm fine with it. Okay. Um, this is a good situation for us. We can do aggressive expansion impact. Probably what I'm going to do. War tax cost is really good to just get free war taxes. Um, this one is good, but not amazing. It kind of will help our colonies more than it will us. Um, what is our capital right now? Grasslands? We have a lot of grasslands, but... Um, I think aggressive expansion impact is more important right now. I wonder if maybe we go to war. No, that's a terrible idea. Let's not do that. <laughs> Let's just wait for the marriage. Ah, I'm not going to do it. Money is such a big issue for us. Austria, who you're at Ooh, Ottomans and Crimea. Hmm. Not, uh, this is actually a little dangerous, because I just, yeah, I'm realizing now, we might get declared on by Aragon. I would not necessarily surprise it. Oh, I'd be surprised by it. Um. Also, I just realized what we need to do is actually get rid of our alliance well we don't have the alliance but we get rid of our marriage with these guys get rid of our guarantee for one yeah do that that's a terrible thing to have around still get rid of that guarantee that's just gonna pull us down what oh god i got freaked out i thought that the reason we lost it was because of what i just did but no um okay our our ruler died we have a 662 on the throne. That is not bad. Uh, that is not bad at all. I think I might start... Oh, and that means we just lost our royal marriage with them, didn't we? Yeah, look at that. So we can get a new alliance. Who do we want to be our next alliance? Now, that is an interesting question. Well, do we want to? We might want to just save the spots until we use them in the... Hopefully, when we have the marriage. Is it... Is it 50... You know what? It's not 1500. I think it's 1550 for Aragon. Um, 1500 is for the Burgundian inheritance, which, hold on, <laughs> no, there's no way we can get that. Oh, I was like so tempted. I was like, ooh, maybe, maybe not. Um, I think for now, honestly, might as well try to get another claim on, on Portugal on their, on Madeira. <clears throat> or no, the Azores, we already have Madeira. No, let's just take this now. Take one more of each now. ASAP. Um, hmm. And look at this. Now we're making a beautiful amount of points. 13 a month. Oh. Oh. So good. I don't like <laughs> I don't like the fact that all of our estates are unhappy, literally every single one. Could be a little better for us, maybe. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Whatever. Um, hmm. Next month. Next month. Next month we can do it. Yeah, take it. Idea group. Let's go. Exploration immediately. This is... I don't even care if it might be better to do other ones first. Um, this is... Colonial Castile. That's the name of the series. We're doing full colonial, you know? You can't stop me. And plus, you know, as like the Netherlands, when I've done the Netherlands, normally I'll wait till the second idea to do it. Because of the fact that the Netherlands is so far, you can't reach it normally till Tech 7 anyways. But we are Castile. We are right here. We can definitely make it to the Americas already. As soon as we have the ability, we will be over there. Could we actually... Who is this? Tirkanel? I wonder if we could... Vassals. Oh, we could totally get another free vassal in Ireland. 
Do we care for that? Probably not, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, what Are there any other countries that we could do that? Munster as well. They're actually... Huh, not, that would not be bad. Uh, I might consider that, but Wales would be better because of the culture group thing, you know? Still, could be interesting to do Ireland as well, but I'm going to wait for a bit on that. Let's get more claims. Just keep claiming it up. We'll probably just wait to have our next war be with Portugal again, uh, honestly. I think we should go to speed 5, you know? How long do I stream in, like, two hours? I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to stream, but, um, I mean, I'm really digging this campaign right now, so. Oh, it's not good. Um, I wonder, what should we do here? Moroccan Separatists. I don't want to deal with those. You're not allied with Tunis anymore. That's good. But, and we have stuff we want to feed our vassal. But at the same time... I don't know. I will actually lose legitimacy. I don't mind. We need 35 for the next one. Still losing money, man. <laughs> oh, armies are expensive, apparently. Yeah. Fair, 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 fair. development okay cool um so honestly I'm just gonna continue sitting here I definitely need an advisor there oh so expensive but he's cheaper he's so cheap holy crap how is he so cheap I, I'm gonna hire him this is a lot of cost of advisors that's actually a, most of our cost <laughs> but tell you what we're at up to date and a little bit ahead in military, so I'm firing that guy. Um, yeah, I don't care about that right now. I am going to just sit here <laughs> and uh, I don't know. Maybe it would be good to do a vassal, a vassal thing. Hold on, I want to see how how reasonable it would be to become emperor. Not reasonable right now. Okay, okay. I wonder if maybe we should, if we were to get the thing with Aragon right now, that would put us at our limit. Wales will put us over our limit. I think I'm going to, hmm, so tricky, right? It's like, we could totally get into Ireland. And if we do, that'll be awesome. We will be able to start, start like taking over another little good chunk of land there. Uh, before we are even... I mean, it's not really going to help us with trade or anything, but it's just nice to have more land, always, um, and have a vassal there. Mmm, could be good. Could be good. They could help out with the English, eventually. Maybe just improve relations with them for a while. Yeah, that works. We are just losing money. We're just bleeding money. Hmm. I don't actually mind doing that. Hold on. We don't have a marriage to re-up with you, do we? No. We're going to have a marriage with you. Might as well do it there. That'll keep their aggressive expansion. Or, um, aggressive expansion? Liberty desire down. That's the word. Okay. I think that's all for now. We have converted Grenadins. The Grenadins. Okay. Cool. 
Um, okay, now we're making money. Very, <laughs> a very slim amount. We are making money. You know what, part of it is this. Trade efficiency, national tax down, land maintenance up. Uh, yeah, this is part of it. Okay, nobility, I think we can get some of these guys a little happier. So, clergy, you guys have that province. Nobility, you guys can have that province and that province. Sure. This gets you a little closer to being loyal. Not gonna happen yet, but that's okay. Actually, that hurt our income because it meant that more unhappy estates was controlled by... Uh, uh, okay, nobility... Hold on, nobility just got down, so we can give them more. I don't mind giving them more. 